video I'm going to show you how to trace a face from a photograph. The first step is to go to Pixlr. You may have to click Allow Flash to get it to work. Click Open Image from Computer and look in your Google Drive and open up a picture. I click on Shared with me because I took pictures of most of you and shared them with you. To crop it down, we want to have just like your head and your collar, right about that size. Choose the dotted rectangle, surround it, and then go Image, Crop. To get it to fit on the window, choose View, Show All. Then it'll fit in there. The next step is to unlock your background. Double click on this lock to unlock the background. And then we want to put a new layer on top of that. So go Layer, New Layer, that we're going to trace on top of this new layer. Click on the Pencil tool and change it to Plain and size three. Then the next step is to trace around your head. So do the outside of your head. Take your time. Take a deep breath. Don't hurry. I'm going to kind of rush through this, but just take your time. Okay. The next step is you're going to draw your hair. The way you're going to do that is change it to sketchy. And now you kind of just color in your hair like this. So wherever you have some hair, just kind of color it in. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just kind of color it in. Now, if, if you do want to make a little correction, you can click on the eraser, but don't do a lot of time erasing. Just kind of, we just want to do an approximation. Okay. Oops, I'll just go back to here and just color in a little bit more hair right there. Terrific. Okay. The next step is you're going to draw your eyebrows. So we're going to go pencil tool. We'll go back to plain because we want to do kind of just uh, a real light eyebrow. So I'm kind of scribbling there. Do the eyebrows. Looks like my eyebrows kind of go up through my glasses there. All right, the next step is your eyes. Now to get your eyes, click on this zoom tool and click between your eyes. You want to zoom in so you get your eyes. And then we'll go back to pencil tool and I'm going to go down to size 2. I'm going to just trace my eyes. I'm going to do this side here too. And then um, let's color them in. If you go pencil tool and choose ink, it'll fill it in a little bit better. So maybe I'll go up to size 3 on ink. And then I can color in the whole eye right there. All right, right there. And if you want, you can touch it up a little bit. Got my eyes a little bit big. So I'll just touch it up a little bit. OK, um, next is we're going to do the nose. The way you do the nose is pencil tool, probably size 2. And we'll just go around the nose. Oh, that's too big. To go back, to undo, I can go Edit, Undo, Control Z. And I want to change that from ink to plain size too. There we go. I just want to do the edge of my nose here. And you can see I forgot my glasses. So let's go back and do my glasses. I'll go back to ink for that. And I'm going to just trace my glasses. So if you have glasses, go ahead and draw those in. See my glasses go back like this. We're just doing one color, black and white. I could um, make it a little bit lighter there too if I want. Let's see. So I'm going to just go through, go ahead and do it. My glasses are not quite this thick, but we'll go with that.
see what things look like so far. If I uncheck the background layer, you can see, and if I go view, show all, you can see that's what I have so far. So I still have to do my mouth and lips and things like that. So the next step after the eyes and glasses and nose is mouth and lips. So again, I'm going to go to the zoom tool, which is down here, and I'll click right in the middle of my mouth, have it zoom in there. Okay, pencil tool, and I'm going to switch it from ink to plain, so it's nice and thin. I've got a size two, so I'm going to go on the top, my lips, and then I'll go over down here to the bottom of my lips. And then I'll do the inside of my lips right there. And down here, the inside of my lips. All right, there we go. We can see what that looks like. There we go. Next, I'm going to do, um, yeah, I mean, that that's about what you can do. It looks like I forgot my ears, so I'm going to go back to view, show all, and I'm going to just uh, go back to pencil, plain, I'm just drawing my ears, right here, kind of just see where my ears are, on the side of my face there, okay, and so again, I could, I could touch this up, oh, maybe I'll, I'll just draw in my beard a little bit here, Do that light sketchy beard here on using the plane tool. And uh, <clears throat> again, if you want to erase some stuff, eraser tool is right there. And you can erase, clean up a little bit. All right, see what it looks like so far. There we go. So now if I'm going to save this, go File, Save. And by the way, make sure you've turned off the, like, so don't save it like this. Save it like this so you have the background layer off. And then you go, Save dot dot dot. Change it to 100% quality for the best quality. Okay. Looks like I could use some help on my, yeah, my chin is a little bit off there. That's okay. Just for practice. For So here's Mr. M uh, tracing. And click on save. And then you'll go to Google Classroom and turn it in. So have fun with this. And once you're done with this one, do somebody else's face. Or you can do an animal also. That's it.